And if you didn't already know what all the buzz is about today, we are celebrating the humble and ever busy B. Now from their hardworking nature to their unbelievable teamwork, bees do so much more than just provide us with that sticky, sweet, gooey golden honey. They're also responsible for pollination of millions of plants and trees annually and play such a vital role in really helping our local flora, uh, flora thrive and in turn allowing us to do uh, so many of the fruits and the veggies that we absolutely love. And this morning, we are going to be making a drool-worthy vegan chocolate and honeycomb brownie. Now, they taste even better than they look, I promise, and are 100% vegan. Teresa is going to be showing us how it's done. Yes, absolutely. Good morning. Good morning. You just <laughs> told me you used to make a honeycomb for a living. I do. <laughs> am, I, am I calling you out? Yeah. <laughs> many, many years ago in a past life, um, yeah, I used to make, I made hundreds and hundreds of batches and I haven't made it since then. So hopefully I haven't lost my touch. <laughs> hopefully not because I'm very interested to make this because yes, I always, yes. I used to grow up like eating them, the crunchies and just oh, thinking it's so good. So delicious. So yeah. now I can make it for the little ones. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll show you how to make the brownie mix and I'm going to keep half an eye on our honeycomb over there. So we've got mashed banana in the bowl yes. and we're going to add our Be Well canola oil which is the hero because you want is, it to be nice and moist yes, of course absolutely mm -hmm. and we're going to add a little bit of bicarb and some vanilla so you're going to mix all your wet ingredients together and then you're going to add your dry ingredients so it's very very simple and easy can i ask a silly question why don't you just put it all together and then just mix it together it just helps everything to combine more easily if okay. you have all your wet ingredients um, distributed evenly it just yeah it, it makes for a better makes it batter easier. how are we doing looking with that? good yeah looking good, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> so i've added regular sugar but you could use a sugar substitute so xylitol or erythritol something like that perfect going to add your flour your cocoa powder lots of cocoa nice and chocolatey and then we're going to be adding nuts as well. I was just going to say, now I love the, the fact that you're adding uh, nuts in it, also almonds, because it's perfect, good yeah. protein as well. Absolutely. But also with that crunch, because you yeah. want that brownie to really just have that texture. That textural uh, element. Absolutely. absolutely. And we use, we've used almonds, but you could use pecan nuts, macadamia nuts. You really can mix it up. Whatever floats about. Are we still good yeah. with that We're one? still good. I know. I'm like, oh, don't mess it up. So yeah, give that a good mix. And then of course, don't forget to line and grease your tray because you don't want your brownies to stick. Very so good. So I'm just gonna make sure everything's and again, just coming back to the oh. fact that we are using the Bewell canola oil, which is yes. locally produced Bewell canola oil and is naturally cholesterol-free. It's low in saturated fat, also high in omega-3, and it's perfect for a healthy lifestyle. So you have that balance and you're not going to feel guilty That's when you're right. indulging in this gooey chocolate goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, oh, how does, delicious does that look? That already looks so, like I could eat the batter. Yeah. Just like that. We're going to fight over who licks the bowl. <laughs> So pop that in and then you bake it at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. And when you take it out of the oven, you want that little bit of wobble in the brownie. It so should do like a shimmy. A little bit of, yeah. Because it will set as it cools down. Okay. And if you have that little bit of moisture in the middle, you're going to get a beautiful, thick, fudgy brownie, which is really what you want. Then once they come out of the oven, you let them cool. And then you can cut them up. Okay. And then we're going to be adding a chocolate glaze on top, so just to have that extra decadence. I mean, we need more chocolate. We, I mean, you can never have can, too much chocolate in I a brownie. I have to agree. <laughs> <laughs> so very, very easy to do. I've got dark chocolate in the bowl. We just have it over some simmering water. And I'm going to add some plant-based milk and some vegan butter. And you're just going to stir that together and pour it over the brownies when it's cool. And so that is our glaze. delicious and chocolatey, yeah. And what's in the other part? And then this one here is the honeycomb. Okay. So it's basically sugar, honey, glucose, and a little bit of water. And you're going to boil that to the hard crack stage. That's 150 degrees, nice deep golden color. And then what you're gonna do, this is the magic part. I love some magic. Add some bicarb. And you'll see as soon as you do that, it's gonna puff up, get nice and airy and golden. And then you're gonna pour it into your dish and you let it set. And that bicarb creates all these beautiful yes. little air pockets. Oh, wow. So when it sets, you get that sort of airy honeycomb, honeycomb effect. And then you just take a hammer and you just smash it up into little bits 
and you sprinkle it over your brownies. You have not lost any of <laughs> your, your touch with regards to the honeycomb. Teresa, thank you so much for this 100% vegan brownie and honeycomb. But of course, if you've missed out on any other steps, you can get your hands on it uh, and the recipe and all the ingredients on expressoshow.com. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Honey. <laughs> Enjoy a selection of delicious plant-based meals and download your free copy of the Be Well Vegan Cookbook today.